Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a little personal project I'm doing here. Well, on the right, you could see my uh, old PC. It's the Q6600, the Intel Q6600. And uh, I really forgot the motherboard. It's some sort of gigabyte. It was uh, top of the line back in the day. So yeah, now I'm going to put this rig into my uh, parents' living room because uh, they like to stream foreign channels and such. So uh, I'm going to help them out. On the left over here, you could see the HTPC case that I got for them. And uh, you can see the model and stuff over there, so you could search it. You will also see it in the video later on. Like I said, it's a quad-core Q6600, which was one of the better CPUs back in the day. Uh, it's not overclocked. It's got a stock fan. And I want to say it has 3 gigs of RAM in it. And here is my dog, Sugar, to help me out. And uh, the video card is NVIDIA. Uh, it's really nothing special. It doesn't matter. It's NVIDIA something. Uh, it's pretty low-end. It's just enough to get high definition video to output it through HDMI so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer the contents from here to there and uh, I guess I'll just show you little snippets while I go about doing this so we got it open right here and uh, it's very nice looking very sleek it looks uh, similar to uh, a view receiver so it kind of fits in with your home theater inside is fairly spacious uh, I guess for a home theater PC you can see where you mount the hard drives and such uh, CD, DVD, Blu-ray drive will go here. Uh, in the front, it says uh, it has a Blu-ray uh, logo, but I don't have a Blu-ray drive. My parents don't even watch Blu-ray, but or DVDs for that matter. But there you go. Um, over there, we got two 90 millimeter fans. I want to say there's one in the front, but I didn't see anything. Right, here's a nice little overview. All the wires and everything is tucked in neatly, and from this angle. And another cool feature that I didn't even know about when I was ordering this, if you, this pops open, I knew about that, but I didn't see this uh, card reader right here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you got an SD card reader and some other, uh, like three of the cards, I suppose. And over here, you got your microphone, headphones, speakers, or whatever. USB 2.0, they're not 3.0, which is okay because nobody even uses 3.0 devices in this house except me. Reset button. Oh, uh, sorry about the glare. Reset button. All right, over here we've got a power button. Um, power button feels flimsy, to say the least. Uh, that's probably my only complaint thus far. Um, I won't know how that feels until I install the DVD drive, but power button feels really flimsy. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, wow. Okay, it needs to be worn in a little bit, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to go on and uh, transfer the parts from there to there, and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so here I got the motherboard screwed on. Uh, it's a regular ATX motherboard. This case also supports micro ATX, but decided to stick with ATX. And um, I noticed there's a 120 millimeter fan here, and I added another one here. That's my own fan from the other case including the two 90 millimeter fans that I mentioned earlier. So uh, everything went smoothly. Uh, one of the, it was pretty cool because the case already had uh, the motherboard mounting screws or I guess stands on there already except one of them was kind of messed up because the screw wouldn't fit in. So anyways, got that taken care of and as you can see all I gotta do is take out the DVD drive, the hard drive and power supply, hook everything back up here. Should be good to go. Well Oh, we're into our first problem here. Um, I'm not sure if you could see that, but right here, this hole right here on the bottom, that is a screw hole that decided to uh, cut one of my screws in half. So I don't know, I'm going to have to mount this very unsecurely because I only have one hole left to mount it on. And that's going to kind of uh, bother me because these things bother me here <laughs> but let me show you the screw yeah um, there you go it's cut off it's not really a good thing but uh, I'm gonna try to work around it maybe I could take it off with some pliers I doubt it but I'll continue alright so we got uh, the hard drive secured 
and the CD drive secured for the most part. Let me put this down real quick. That's the bracket that holds all of that. That's yeah, going to slip right onto this top portion right here. It's going to slip on and screw on. I also connected the motherboard uh, cables and did a little bit of wire management as best I could for now. And sorry about that glare. This is the lamp to provide my lighting. And that's pretty much uh, where we're at. Next up, I'm going to install the power supply and uh, install all the power cables. And bring in that bracket with the optical drive and the hard drive and go on from there. Alright, so I got the power uh, supply installed, uh, video card installed, all the cables managed. It was actually pretty tough because of its uh, small compact size. But managed to do it. Everything is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and boot for the first time on my test screen. Alright, so I uh, got my test uh, set up here. That's my demo uh, screen there and uh, I'm gonna hit the button and hope for the best I just realized I forgot something I forgot to plug in the last power adapter for the motherboard alright everything is plugged in I'm hoping this time we could get something going and uh, switch is on power Fans are spinning. Fans are spinning. I'm not. Oh, there we go. Okay, Okay. 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 Oh yeah. And we're booting in. I'm going to install XMBC on here, which is uh, it's a free um, operating system for home theater PCs, which lets you have ease of use when using a media center. Thanks for joining me on this journey. I got the home theater PC up and running. I'm going to take this to the living room and set it up there. and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.